Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at a custom Windows 10 ISO known as Windows 10 to 7. In the past, we've taken a look at transformation packs that turn Windows 10 into Windows 7. However, this is a very interesting project. It is an ISO with all of those tweaks automatically installed, and it makes Windows 10 look like Windows 7, exactly in the name. So, we're going to be booting this up, installing it, and taking a brief look at it to see, you know, how, how accurate is this really? Because... A lot of people love Windows 7, and obviously I don't recommend using a tweaked ISO that you downloaded from the internet, but it's definitely cool. You know, maybe you could be, use it to trick some people. Um, we've also taken a look at Windows 10 to Windows XP in the past. I believe that was Project Luna, and whoa. Okay. First things first, this looks very similar to the Windows 7 setup. I mean, this is almost identical. Typically, when we take a look at these custom installers, they are, you know, the typical Windows 10 setup, and the tweaks don't come into play until after the ISO is installed but I mean this this is legit I mean I'm starting to question if this is just a Windows 7 ISO but all right we're gonna install this and see what happens all right and the install should have completed at this point we are now okay so the boot up screen they did not modify which I don't think you can remove that loading wheel um, I'm not sure but we are booting into Windows welcome <laughs> Alright, so that was a little weird, but wow. Okay, first things first, hopefully we don't break anything. We're going to go in and install VMware Tools, which will allow us to go full screen. Um, obviously, first thing by default, Windows Arrow is already turned on. We don't have to, you know, install tools or drivers for anything. Arrow just works out of the box. Um, but it does look like it. VMware Tools is not working very well, um, which is making me a little not happy there we go VMware tools because this is Windows 10 it should work with the default version alright and that should be that I'm not sure though why my screen resolution is not you know changing itself and this is this is terrible because I'm not sure how to change the resolution. Oh, they have a custom. I guess that's quite, I suppose. That's not the right resolution, though. Um, we'll go. See, that's too much. Okay, I guess that looks better. It's not perfect, but we're there. All right. And first thing I got to say is, wow. You put this in front of a non-computer. I mean, you put this in front of a computer guy. And then this this looks like Windows 7. That I notice no real differences straight off the bat. The arrow looks perfect. The wallpaper is obviously the same. Mouse effects, everything like that. I mean, it's it's perfect. So obviously, of our cycle bin on the desktop, along with our taskbar with all the default applications, as well as the system tray, which does look a little weird. Um, granted, you know you're modifying Windows 10 files, as well as the time, which is the old time, and the network settings, which of course is the new network settings um, which flies out from the side so that could be a little distinguishing fact um, but again you can't really manage that it's a part of Windows um, opening the start menu we can see that this is exactly like Windows 7 um, you know all of your recent apps and pinned apps over here and the default ones over here going into all apps we can see that we even have like the Windows 7 getting started apps like the, the most basic apps that could be included in this are here um, desktop gadgets we do have gadgets in this wow they really went all out oh there's even some custom ca gadgets like I don't recall that being a gadget and maybe it was I'm not sure but I don't recall it um, media player all your typical accessories system tools yep that's the old Windows 7 paint all of your typical games that came with Windows 7 Wow, I mean, they, they did go all out for this. Power, the newer PowerShells in this, so that could be a distinguishing factor. I also believe Winver. Yep, they each even changed Winver to say Windows 7 Enterprise. But I gotta show you, this is not Windows 7. This is, oh, they even changed this. They, they really even changed the version inside of Command Prompt. I believe... It's under regedit where we can see this is I believe it's build 16,299. Yeah, well here we can see 16, 10, 
299. So yeah, this is this is an old build of Windows 10. I'm not really sure how you could do this on modern builds just with all the restrictions and stuff that come in place, but let's see what happens. If we even run the setup.exe, it is a Windows 7 installer. Okay, now this okay, there we go. Now it's going into the Windows 10 installer. But I mean, that's just man, that's just crazy. Um all right. I just want to see like obviously updates are going to break this. How do you update this? Cuz you go into control panel, you know, what do you wh there's no settings app. And settings app was like the core of Windows 10. So how do you you know, how do we do updates? How do we settings.ini okay settings.ink that just takes us here um, that's a little concerning I'm not sure how to get there maybe it's just completely taken out I mean I, I get it they want it to be as close as possible but you know oh do they really have okay so maybe that's how you do it maybe they did actually add Windows update in this I'm not sure but uh, yeah, this was Windows 10 to 7. Definitely an interesting project that not a lot of people have really taken a look at. Um, this is really cool. I might have to mess with some people with this. But with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new or into your as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.